What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zoff. And today we are back with season two, episode three of The Summer I Turn Pretty. This one is called Love Sick. Last episode ended with Jeremiah and Belly arriving at the summer house because Conrad has been missing for the past couple days, not answering any texts, and they have a good idea that he's probably at the summer house. And he is. We saw there at the end that he is there. Immediately started getting into an argument with Jeremiah. And the last thing we did see was Belly walks around the corner and comes face to face with Conrad. And they were doing this wild thing where like they were showing the present while also showing the past at the same time. And while Jeremiah and Conrad are arguing in the same room, it's showing like Belly losing her virginity to Conrad like months ago. So just the contrast there is absolutely insane because now in the present conrad looks at her and he's like what is she doing here so i mean they are definitely on bad terms yeah i feel like we need to figure this out right now i just could realistically care less about the relationship because the friendship relation like family yeah like uh even with steven it's like we need to get this shit sorted like right now i don't really want to see her like getting romantic and stuff with conrad or being like that the priority i think should be like okay well well it kind of seems like it's her fault right that they're not friends right now or they're they're not talking they keep saying like the the funeral funeral. yeah whatever happened at the funeral so we need to square this up and yeah i just need to see jar and conrad cool and then hopefully hit up steven too because like coming into the show they were the bestest of friends all even all four of them like they were just all four good friends and then now it's like no one talks to each other so i think Susanna would want them to to be close again all right guys well that's pretty much it before we do get into the episode if you have been liking all the summer i turned pretty reactions please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we got the patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box Make sure to check all those out. And with all that being said, we're going to get right into the episode. The Summer I Turned Pretty, Season 2, Episode 3, Love Sick. Let's do it. Between Brown and the medical bills, yeah, I know how much the medical bills cost. Because I was there. Mm, where were you, Conrad? I was going to tell you after I'd taken care of it. <laughs> you really like keeping secrets from Jeremiah, don't you, Conrad? Yeah. Fuck school. I don't care. Fuck school. Fuck school. That was the worst acting Fuck yet. Fuck school. Okay, dude. dude, that was the worst <laughs> acting we've seen. Fuck school. I don't care. <laughs> you got to do a zoom in on that. Dude, that shit was wild. You don't give a shit about anyone but yourself. that the house is for sale and doesn't even care mm. what what, <laughs> what? <laughs> did, did he not just did he not just fucking freak out about it what, what just happened what, what? what? Something? he doesn't care <laughs> i'm gonna use my trust as down payment for the house talking to one of my mom's financial guys in the morning oh. damn that's why he doesn't want to go to school so he can buy the house if jer wants to stay here and help figure things out that is his decision and you don't get to make it for him. Mm. Facts. Looking belly spitting right now. I'm glad I don't have to do this alone. Yeah, I'm glad I came too. Why is his shirt so fucking dirty, dude? <laughs> it was from something. Oh, when he oh, was, when he was fixing changing the tire. the tire. You're right. Yeah. I was just like so confused. Why is it dirty? Back home, I can almost believe Susanna isn't really gone. But here, at the beach house. She's everywhere. True. What are reminders of her? When you swim, I don't think you'd notice if the house was on fire. You're so into what you're doing. It's like you're someplace else. That's what I like about it. Would these three just stay the whole summer here? Where would Steven be? Not in the just show. Damn. Him. Fucked over. No one cares about him, apparently. Just wearing a Princeton shirt somewhere. We're going to get, like, the episode before the finale or something. Steven's going to be like, wait, they're selling the house? <laughs> like, he just finds out. <laughs> Probably not until, like, the second. Uh, the first. Hey, Connie. Emma. Ellie, you might study better in an actual chair. What are they talking about? Where are they? I think they go to prom together? They're at her house. Belly's yeah. house. This is the past. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just forgot the date. 
It's a big date to forget for your girlfriend. You think Jerry would have forgot it? No. <laughs> we had the tux. We're gonna go find Angelia. We're gonna go find Angelia. All my homies hate Aunt Julia. Yeah, what the hell? What's wrong with Aunt Julia? She's coming around. But she'll probably be back from Taylor soon. Yeah. Okay. He's covering for her, huh? Yeah, he knows she's not there. He's gonna he's gonna fall in love with Taylor. I could see that. She's got the arm thing on. That can't be comfortable. Uh oh. You know, Conrad called and asked me to come. Mm, that's a lie. Hey, look, this is their first summer without their mom, okay? They need I mean, I would go too. Yeah, yeah I don't blame them, <laughs> for sure. Why He's a straight cap into Taylor right now, though. It's actually kind of sweet of you. <laughs> well, what are you going to tell Laura, okay? Because I could cover for both of you. You're going to come with me. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm coming with you. <laughs> yep, there we go. They're all going to spend the summer there, aren't they? I feel like the pace that the sh that the show's going so far, it's it'll probably. I feel like it's not going to cover the whole summer, but yeah, that I feel like it's definitely just going to be all of them there. Yeah. Love it. Let me see the corsage. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I don't have your corsage. Oh. I must have left it in my dorm fridge. It's okay. I, I don't really. I don't think it's a big deal. No, if if you were to forget a thing, I think that's all right. I get it that it's like tradition, but like, who cares? I bet you, Jerry wouldn't have forgot. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. You gonna ask my sister to dance or what this year? <laughs> Come on. They get up for sis. That just sounds like a <laughs> script. <laughs> that sounds like a, a frat boy jock boy. What are you doing, Fisher? We've been friends for our whole lives. I'm going to call you by your last name. <laughs> mayonnaise. Smashing pumpkins, mayonnaise. What a collective. <laughs> you love it, Rob? I like the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh. I'm not familiar with this, though. You think mayonnaise is a good song name? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about that one for too long. Mayonnaise is a good condiment, though. You. He's too sad right now. It's just bad. It's, the timing is just off. Surely I would not want to be at prom if I was in no. his position. He probably feels guilty. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame him. His mom's dying. I just might go back to school tonight. I'm an exam on Monday and everything. You're going to go back to school tonight. I think he's like freaking out a little bit. Yeah. Really, if I stay, I'm just going to ruin the rest of the night for you. I don't want to do that. Did I, did I do something? No, Belly. His, his mom is dying. It is not your fault at all. This kid is just going through it. Oh, uh, not in the rain. You know what they need to play? Prince Purple Rain. I feel like I just keep disappointing you. You haven't. And you aren't. I have. I have. All I've done today is disappoint you. You don't deserve that. I just stop acting like this and come back and something. <laughs> I mean, he has to act like this. He's heartbroken. He's not thinking That's about true. you, Belly. He's thinking about his dying mother. Fine. Then, then if you won't say it, I will. Say so what? That we're over? To no, oh. no way. What? That's not what he don't, meant. Don't say anything. Well, you took this bad, Belly. Belly, don't leave it like this. <laughs> you were the one like not his no, fault. not the necklace. Not his fault. Ellie did not have any understanding. She's just too young. He didn't even break up with her. Wow, that was just such a misunderstanding. I mean, Kong needed to use some words, at least. He's having trouble expressing his feelings. I, I mean, it's super, everything. super obvious for us to see, but yeah, I, for the hard, sixteen year olds, yeah. not. Bambi? I think this is his house. At the Twinkie? Yeah. All right. All right. You ready? You think this is John B's house? <laughs> Dude. Have you ever seen John B's house before? Uh. -uh. Oh yeah. I, I meant real life. No, you didn't. Who's Can this? I oh, I've, I I definitely know oh, her. My God. 
Um, She's from Grey's. It's been so long. Just want to say I don't think so. Sex in the City? No. Here we go. Two crazy things to throw out there. You know, I, I don't understand how you can just get rid of something your sister loves so much. It's not Kyra. personal. Hmm. To them it is. I have to be back at work in a week. I barely got the time off as it is. So that's why you didn't make it to the funeral? Oh. Jeremiah? Sky, I, I didn't know you were here. It kind of looks like Arya Stark. Thanks for stopping by. Of course. Uh, don't forget your flowers. Oh, thanks. I think that might be Arya Stark. It's not. Um, no. Looks like her, though. Maisie. Maisie Williams in the summer I turned pretty. What are you thinking about now? That I'm an idiot for thinking I could change Aunt Julia's mind. You had to try. Yo. They're gonna be lovers in the end. Volleyball girls group chat. All the stuff we have to bring to camp next week. You don't seem like you're looking forward to it. No, we are not going to that camp, and Taylor's coming here, and she's not going either. We're gonna stay here all summer. I'm telling you. I kinda lost my shit on the New Year regionals. Yeah, you do get kinda mean when you play volleyball. Yeah, I like to win. Oh, believe me, I'm aware. <laughs> we are too, Jer. Jer sucks at volleyball. We were six points down to a garbage team, and all of my spikes kept going into the net. I couldn't focus. I mean, all I could think about was Susanna. So it's just like, how do you think Conrad was feeling at the prom? You know what I mean? Mm. He was all he could probably think about was his mom. Maybe it was a bad idea. No, you're doing the camp. Okay, if I have to deal with Conrad, then you are gonna show up for your team. Deal? I'm still trying to see yeah. Conrad on the football field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up. What do you think he plays? <laughs> Quarterback. Pink and white by Remy Wolf. Oh come on. What the fuck? I saw you look at my phone. Don't flatter yourself. Yeah, whatever. Don't look at my phone. He, she pulled away from him looking on the phone. He went, Oh, come on. <clears throat> Yelling at someone over there? What was that? Came out a bit louder than I expected. You think they're going to love each other, Bryce? Yeah, for sure. And I'm here for it. I mean, Steven's cool. Milo's definitely way cooler, but it's, Steven's all right. That was a joke, though, by the way. We don't like Milo here. Uh -uh. How are the waves? <laughs> uh. Maybe we should go out later when it's uh, smoothed out. This is not awkward. It's bros talking like bros. I love his shirt. I want to be there when you talk to dad. I'm better with him lately, and once he sees how passionate we are about keeping the house, he'll have to let us use our trusts. Our trust. No more doing everything alone. Let's go, Jer. Jer's perfect. <laughs> He's just the perfect man. Sometimes it feels like you think that you're better and smarter than everyone. He is. Like, including me. Taylor, I don't think that at all. Mm. You're one of the smartest people I know. <laughs> Does he think that? <laughs> Isn't he not just smarter I, I feel, than everyone? I feel like he holds himself in pretty high regards. Valedictorian means he's the smartest in, in the class, right? Smarter than everyone? Mm -hmm. Steven, everyone processes things differently. No, I mean they're gonna kiss. Hey, they are going to kiss. I promise you, right now. Does anyone have any wagers? No. I just have a fucking pain in my ear now. Oh, I knew the someone, fuck was that? I knew someone was gonna say. I mean, something. how could we not? Right? Oh my, I almost scared myself. I hurt myself. What decision I just Um, they don't exactly know we're coming. What? Dude, if they don't even kiss either and you did that, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking leave. <laughs> no. Just don't change my seat setting. No, the car is like. No, it's not the car, it's you. <laughs> I've never heard someone call it a seat setting. Yeah. <laughs> I got a heads up from the bank telling me you're trying to access your trust. That's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let you blow it on a beach house. It's not just a house, Dad. You want me to beg, Dad? Because I will. I will. I'll do the call came early in the morning. Oh, oh no, God. no, oh, no. Oh, here we go. We're at the funeral. Is this the funeral? <laughs> I mean, Laurel's got to be the most banged up one yet. Or her kids. Yeah. This was the song that she always asked me to play for her. Conrad? Oh, no. What? 
I almost I almost laughed just because it's a bit random. I don't know. I didn't know he was a singer. I mean, not that good. Of a wow, voice. sad song. <laughs> really sad song. Yeah. Sad song. Yeah. Oh man, Conrad. Fuck. Making me sad, bro. I mean, how are you supposed to sing like that? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh no, he's gonna start crying. I mean, he, you can tell that he's like half <laughs> crying already. The dress is too small for you. Why didn't you wear the one I left out on your bed? And um, this was Susanna's favorite. I wore it for her. <laughs> is Cleveland just not in this season? No, I don't see where he would fit in, to be honest, with what's going on. Maybe when she goes to this book thing, he'll be there? Could. Yeah. Oh, hey. Is that for us? Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's Aubrey. That's her friend from the college. Oh, is it? Yeah. Whose friend? Conrad's. Ellie? She's probably did Ellie something because of that. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. So you'll accept her help, but not mine? Got it. Glad to know where I fall in the ranking of ex-girlfriends. Grow up. Go to hell. Oh. Shit. I knew it was a bad idea starting something with you. Damn. Uh. I don't believe you. It was a huge mistake. Damn, dude. Let her know, Con. Damn, bro. I never want to see you again. <laughs> Yeah, she made a scene. You can't do that here, Bells. Wouldn't say she ruined the funeral, but definitely caused a scene. She yeah. didn't even, like, she just completely lost it. That could have been just a friend comforting him. I would have freaked. I mean, I wouldn't have assumed it was just a friend. Well, I think she said it was his ex-girlfriend. Believe it or not, I'm just as upset as you are about it. That's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. You never cared about this house, Dad. You never cared about it because you never cared about Mom. Damn. Make sure that Julia gets everything that she needs. You got it? Conrad was right. Talking to you is pointless. They're going to have to somehow convince Aunt Julia. Brother Bond is going crazy right now. Oh. Surprise! Bad, bad time. We're losing the house. Fuck. Steven's here? <laughs> <laughs> They're thinking. Yeah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> now we were trying to hang out without Steven. I brought you blueberry. Oh, oh my God! What? Play mm -hmm. Mac? Oh shit! I... Well, this is what I love, man. Right before you fall. This is a good song. This is a perfect song for these fellas. I know. I'm scared that you guys were gonna see me fuck everything up. Just be honest with each other. Jared was always there for you, man. You just needed to talk to him. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. Here we go. We need the brotherhood back. Oh, the best relationship behind Steven and Taylor. What if Cam Camerson's the one who buys the house? <laughs> Burns it down. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Some shit up. <laughs> Conrad's had some crazy lines this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to say it. Fuck school. Let's fuck some shit up. I told him we're not giving up. Good, because we're not. Didn't you say I hate you? I never want to see you again. Nah, that was, was the heat of the moment, brother. Oh, uh, I ordered pizza. Should be like thirty minutes, but I only ordered one with pineapple, so I called dibs on two slices. Right, Jeremiah? I think that's all you. <laughs> was that line weird? No, just the way it was executed. Oh, yeah, no, you're was, thinking too much. That wasn't a weird. It one. was a weirdly you're, executed. You're line. reaching on that one. We'll see. I mean, nothing to see. It's over.
What? Like, come on. He's gonna run and keep secrets again? What? 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 Oh, he's having a panic attack. Oh, shit. What was the text? Oh, Conrad. Conrad! what's going on, man? Conrad? Go help him, Steven. Well, I mean, that's a... Is that the first cliffhanger we've ever had in this show? I, I feel like it might be, but I mean, there's no way he's dead. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that, but like, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> did anyone? Did you think that? <laughs> no, think he, he was, thought a little no, bit. I, I did, but he did. That was a thought that existed only in your brain. Melly but... was not. You guys definitely think he's probably not dead. Yeah, that's that's yes, exactly, exactly what I thought. I didn't think he was dead. I didn't even. It didn't cross my mind. I was I'm just, just like, oh. we all thought he's probably not dead. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously having a panic attack. It's it's from whatever he just saw on his phone. I don't know what, like, what kind of news that he could receive that would put him in a state like that. Like, the house was sold. But it wouldn't happen like that. And they're having an open house tomorrow. So that hasn't even happened yet. So, like, I don't know. And they just talked to his dad. I'm just really wondering what could have possibly made conrad react in that way but i'm actually really happy that steven is the one who mm -hmm. is out there uh going to hopefully comfort him and everything because they're the two oldest and like they've always had a special relationship that i feel like hasn't gotten to be shown a whole lot throughout this show so i'm hoping for a good steven and conrad moment at the start of next episode yeah, I agree. I, Steven's probably my favorite character, and I would love to just see him get some more attention. Everyone's just hating on him, not giving him attention. And speaking of Steven, I definitely do think him and Taylor are going to mesh and love each other. I think they're a very good couple. That car ride, he was sort of crying in front of her. Like, her words hurt him, and I'm glad that he came out and said that. And I just can't wait for Steven to be more... more in the show because he is a great character um super kind soul and he goes to princeton but yeah like it's nice having everyone here at the house again like it's been a whole summer and it's things aren't perfect but at least we're together now i think that's what we've wanted this whole time no matter how it happened if it took steven and taylor just showing up out of the blue still i think the vibes are decent which is better than just them not talking i think there will be a lot of constructive like conversations happening here only problem is that they might get kicked out because they're trying to sell the house like are they going to be here for the open house tomorrow i don't know i feel like maybe they could try to ruin the open house so no one buys it but at the same time they're not allowed to touch their trust their dad said so how do they get money to even buy it do they have to convince her I realistically the only way is convincing their aunt like if they convince her somehow to not sell it then the, the problem's just gone mm -hmm. and i feel like that the aunt isn't gonna be just a minor character like she definitely has something deeper going on like there's a reason she didn't go to the funeral there's a reason like I don't know. I feel like she definitely has something she's holding back that the boys don't know about. And uh, she's definitely the key to keeping the house for sure. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for this episode. If you have been liking all the summer, I turn pretty reactions. Please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our socials, our PO box and our second channel. Check all those out. And with all that being said, we will see you guys next time for season two, episode four of the summer. I turn pretty peace out.